What's up, y'all? It's Dr. Paul. <clears throat> I decided to do a little series on the clean impress of this Detective Comics number 59 from January 1942 in terms of the publication indication, but it was actually uh, put on the newsstands November 1941. Second appearance of the Penguin, who's featured right here on the uh, first page of the inner, the first leaf. Um, <clears throat> I did a bit of an assessment, and we do have color touch on this book that's more extensive than was disclosed by the seller, which is okay. Um, I think it was an honest seller. He certainly, you know, wasn't trying to hide the fact that there was color touch here, but there's this impression here, two concentric circles, maybe even a dot there, so maybe you could call that three concentric circles, and... This has actually been pressed in or scratched in with something. It's not entirely clear. It looks almost like a record, but it's smaller than a 45 would be. So I'm not sure what was used. But at any rate, um, there's damage to the book on these concentric circles. And I've already dry cleaned the book. And as I was dry cleaning it, obviously, I look at it with you know, good light and magnification. <clears throat> and I noticed that in addition to the color touch that we knew about here, there's color touch around this circle. So there's color touch here in the blue. There's color touch in the black here, 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 here probably here. I think there's color touch in the black right there where it crosses over these letters of detective. And then more in the blue here. So um, when we remove that color touch, if we're successful, we're going to probably expose somewhat ugly white lines. And that's okay. We would rather have the book kind of be honest and get a blue label or maybe a conserved, you know, blue plus gray banner than to get purple label for what is ultimately pretty minor color touch that, yes, to a casual observer, it improves the overall appearance of the book and the way that the book presents but to comic book aficionados um, we would much rather have an honest book that doesn't have that color touch so what am I going to be doing with this book the next step is to remove these staples so I can get this cover off I have tape to remove and I have color touch to remove so I will not show you all of the details of this clean and press because you've seen them before on my channel. They're pretty tedious. As I said, I've already dry cleaned this. There's, there's no point in me shooting a 45 minute video of me dry cleaning this. Um, nobody wants to watch that and uh, it sucks up a lot of my cloud space. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna do some snippets of key points in this um, conservation as I go. And I hope you enjoy and stick around and we'll see what we can do with this book, um, which is a really important key and we wanna preserve for future generations. So enjoy the hunt and take care of one another.